painting party. This ain't your daddy's painting class. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Mary Houlihan. Yeah, bitch. We're doing this. Mary Houlihan's painting party. Yeah, baby. There's something about Mary. Perfect sound effects because today we're painting sci fi stuff. Ooh, spacey. Ooh, oh my goodness. Gosh. Hello. Talk about spacey. Oh my goodness. What am I? Teleporting somewhere? Probably. Okay, maybe that's like brandishing a, a big sword. I don't know. Well, what's up? Oh, okay. Someone looks so freaking cute. And it's me. It's me. <laughs> Overalls. Overalls in the house. Yes. <laughs> what's up, guys? You're all looking cute, too. Um, um, well, oh. Okay, someone was watching... Food Court Druid was watching George Lucas' talk show, and now their brain is broken because the show challenged their brain too much. Oh, no! Well, you know, I gotta tell you guys, my freaking parents have COVID. My freaking parents have COVID. And um, I was texting with Bryson, and I was like, I don't know how to do the show pretending that my parents don't have COVID and just like smiling and being like, what's new this week, right? Isn't so I asked my mom if it was okay to say that she has COVID and she said, yes, I'm allowed to talk about it. Also, my siblings don't know yet because we want to tell them tomorrow in the daytime so that they don't get like worried right before bed so if you're watching this and you're friends with my siblings please don't tell them and with that i bring on my guests manolo and steve d Hey guys, hey guys. Hey. What do you think? Was that a good intro? Oh, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I missed it. Oh, great. Now Happy's mm -hmm. moved. Well, uh, I was I was just saying, well, you know, before the show, I was like, am I going to talk about my dang parents getting COVID or not? I at least want the option to talk about it because if I just go in being like, I'm, I'm going to pretend it's not, then I thought that I would be all bottled up and nervous and strange. So, you know, I couldn't contain myself and I just sort of blurted that out first thing. And then I said, here comes Steven Manolo. So that's why I said, you know, sort of in a joking way, what do you think about that intro? So oh. that's sort of where I was coming from, Steve. Well, if I was, if this was um, <clears throat> a live show, I would have gotten up and been like, I actually asked her to say that and everyone would, <laughs> everyone would laugh. And... Yeah. Because <laughs> so funny. Just... I would have just yeah. giggled uncomfortably. Yeah. Or you would have been like, that's so hack. That's what every host <laughs> says. <laughs> Wait, you yeah. just found out tonight, like just now ish? Um, yesterday. My <laughs> yesterday morning, my dad was coughing so much. And it was like, you've gotta have it. He had taken a test a couple days before. He was coughing so much that it was like, okay, it's pretty obvious that he has it. So then me and my mom signed up for like the drive-in test near us. And then my dad got a call, but a ding, you're positive. Me and my mom got tested. We got our results. Hers said positive, mine said negative. And so that was yesterday. And my dad um, put a, his finger in a thing that tests like your blood oxygen levels and so they said they said mom you're fine dad you gotta come in so my dad has been at the hospital since yesterday getting a bunch of tests and stuff and now his blood oxygen level is normal and well, his 
temperature is 99 degrees, so not really fevery. Um, but his lungs are a little weird. So, you know, they're giving him steroids and stuff. So he's going to sleep over again tonight. That's good. That is good. Okay. Dave McDougal's mom had it, and she did just fine. Sure, thank you, Dave McDougal. You know, I have been hearing from many people that their parents had it, uh, like parents of similar age to my parents, and they're like, okay, you know, like, oh, yeah. Yeah, you when know, you mentioned when he was in the hospital, at least it wasn't, like, on the brink of, like, like, you know, Oh, you should have put him in the hospital. Five yeah, years ago, yeah. Right. When you mentioned it earlier, I I thought that I mean it, it's still yeah yeah not good, but that I would that's a I, him be at home right. But yeah, you're right. I'll just definitely yeah. caught early. Got an eye on him. He took the test before he even had symptoms. As I said before the show started, he had to take the test because he was going in for foot surgery this Friday and so they have people get tested before they come into the foot surgeon's office. Oh wow. And so he was just like, well I gotta get tested for my foot. And um so he wasn't even having symptoms at the time that he got tested. So thank goodness that he got tested that day. Yeah. Yeah. Is he generally avoidant of hospitals? Yeah, I don't in, think he's ever been hospital. to a hospital in my life. Yeah. yeah. Well, good thing he went to foot surgery. No. I don't even hear him cough often, is what I noticed when he was coughing around the house. I was like, this is so weird to hear That's funny, cause, my yeah, dad no, be feeble. Normally, people don't hear their father crying, but you haven't heard your Cough. dad coughing. You know? <laughs> You've heard him cry, like, just every day. Nonstop. You know, I've heard word it's of allergies. him crying. Once. Mm -hmm. yeah. A rumor. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. My brother said that he saw him cry once. I've never heard my dad have <laughs> explosive diarrhea. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I've heard that. You heard that? <laughs> Your dad or Manolo's dad? Yeah, I've heard Manolo's dad. <laughs> From across the state. I was oh, all wow. the way I was all the way upstate. Mm. Wow. Must have been when I was sleeping. I'm a heavy sleeper. Yeah, it was loud, so Yeah. Well, thank you guys for doing the show. Um, when I was telling us. the Planet Scum people before the show, okay, I'm feeling crazy today because I'm wearing a mask around my house and my dad's in the hospital. And should I do the show? Should I not do the show? I was like, thank goodness for my guests, Steve and Manolo, because they're my friends and I can talk to them for realsies and it'll oh, be fine and fun. Yeah. Yeah. So... That's well, thanks great. for having us. I'm, I'm sorry that I can't be more like um, super fun. You are <laughs> already super fun. I, know. I am super fun, 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 but I feel like, you know, I'm bringing up uh, infectious disease a lot you know, more than I usually do. It's a sign of the times. Yeah. We're all so bringing right. it up. That's, that's part of what art is, and this is the painting party. Oh, my goodness. Right. We just got in word. This Friday is Rose's birthday. Oh, she no. is a fan and she is turning six. First of all, this is amazing news because turning from five to six is the best birthday you could possibly have. I, that's, yeah, that's when, that's, I heard that's, that's when you're like fully formed. Mm -hmm. But then mm -hmm. here comes the bad news. Here comes the bad news. Because this show is on Tuesdays. We can't sing to Rose on her real birthday. So we should sing to her now. I guess we can't do okay. it all. <laughs> Everybody sing at home and we're going to sing to Rose. It's her birthday. Happy uh, birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday, dear Rose. Happy birthday to you. Yay, Rose. Yay, Rose. Happy birthday. Happy birthday.
Okay, Rose is happy. I thought Rose happy was happy. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> is that a Dr. Game Show host? Why, yes, it is in the flesh. Oh, so some sci fi sound effects. Why don't I? Um, you know, I have to do mouse keeping at the top of the show. I'm pretty late for my mouse keeping. Um, but hey, you know, mouse keeping. Oh, yeah, get a load of this. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's a gif of a mouse and anyways so the way the show works if you haven't watched before is we chat and we paint and it's relaxing and fun and cute and we all share our art together so you can post your art online with the hashtag Mary painting party so then you know you can click on the hashtag and see all your friends you know all their paintings and stuff and then I run a gallery it's a tumblr where it I post everyone's work so that's pretty cool so you know you paint and post your art online um and if you don't have twitter or insta hey you could just email me Mary Houlihan XOXO at gmail.com. And you can support the show at planetscum.live. Ah, oh my goodness. Yeah, it's a pretty cool website, planetscum.live. There's a link to the viewer art gallery. There's um, a button to, um, you know, give us money in exchange for being nice to you. And there's actually some prizes that I can send you in the mail or over the web. So um, for $2.69, you can send a message like, you know, Bubby, happy 88th birthday. And it'll scroll at the bottom of the screen just like that. Yeehaw, Chris De La Garza. <laughs> so that's pretty good, 269. That's, you know, you might as well give it to us. That's what I'm saying. That's pretty funny. <laughs> um, $5, a video shout out. Basically, you send us a selfie vid being like, Happy birthday, Bubby! I love you! And then we show the video. And for eight dollars a handmade postcard yep that's right i make a little drawing and i write a little note on it and i mail it to you eight dollars what isn't that cheap yes. super cheap yes it is so i think that's a pretty good one ten dollars i send you stickers and they look like this Woo! ten dollars <laughs> damn <laughs> for for 20 bucks you get um a glossy pic of me and happy and we sign it the both of us <laughs> <laughs> wow only twenty dollars so yeah you know that's pretty much you know how it works um if you do donate one of these um you know one of these things a prize thing be sure to email me your receipt so that i know to mail you the prize and that email once again is Mary Houlihan, XOXO at gmail.com. Okay, so now that the mousekeeping is over with, what are you boys painting today? Were we supposed to. <laughs> Do... uh, <clears throat> you know, I was just watching. Uh, uh, you guys ever see Johnny Mnemonic, the Keanu Reeves movie? No. It's on the two. Yeah. Well, it's a. It's a there's like a, you know what's really funny? There's a dolphin in it. And <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> it is, it's already funny. And the dolphin is has like a, like like some kind of like telekinetic powers and it has like wires and stuff coming. It's a cyberpunk movie. It has like wires and stuff coming out of it. I think that's so funny. The genre of like animals with like prosthetic, like, you know, mm -hmm. robot thing. That's really, to me, peak. Yeah. Sci-fi. So maybe I'll, I'll do that. It's pick an animal. Somebody pick an animal. Because it implies, um, you know, evolution for them to develop <laughs> these, uh, you know, weird appendages. And it's right. like, how long did that take? 
you know, a dolphin with a laser on its head or whatever. Right. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. This movie actually takes place in 2021. It took place a couple days ago, which no is why way. I watched it. So it's real. It's happening now. Wow. <laughs> Did you guys ever hear about Moore's Law? Is that the one I'm thinking about? Which one's that? It sounds familiar. Oh, it's... <laughs> You no, know, I had a phase in maybe like 2009 <laughs> where, you know, I was into technologists. I love to read technologists and be like, oh my God, computers, crazy. And, um, you know, they would write about AI and my favorite technologist, Jaron Lanier, he'd be like, oh my God, you guys are freaking out about AI and you honestly don't need to because... I want to hear about it. It's not going to get all, it's, it's not going to get way super smart like in uh, the movies. It's not going to happen like that. Because of Moore's Law? That's. <clears throat> oh, so Moore's Law is a different thing that these oh. people would often write about where they would say that um, the chips in our computers get exponentially smaller if you think about the size of the computer from 1998. 2000 to 2005 to you know computers we have now our uh, phones are just as functional as like my family computer from the 90s but faster yeah anyway so it was about how like um the hardware the chips that they use are getting smaller and smaller and smaller and something about how they can't get too small <laughs> um it sort of had like Y2K vibes. Like, uh, yeah. Yeah. If these chips get too small, what are we going to do? <laughs> you don't want them to be too, then you can't find them. Yeah. yeah. They get cuter and cuter the smaller they get. They put chips in cats. Okay, we have some Jaren heads in the chat. I knew we would. I knew there would be at least would. one. <laughs> He's so cool. I love him. <laughs> Um, Do you know what I watched a little bit today? What? I watched uh, THX, George Lucas's first film. Yeah, that one has like a... It's like a retro futuristic Yeah, kind of thing. That's cool. It's very experiential. It has a lot of nice noises and Ooh. things to look at. But that's about it. You know what I watched just last night? If you guys haven't watched the show, Steve and Manolo, we just sort of chat in all directions and, you know, it, it, it can, can go anywhere. So the thing I'm about to say, you're going to be like, that's not sci-fi. I know. I know. I wanted to bring this up because we were talking about cool sound design in films. The film that I saw last night that had cool sound design was... Mm, what's it called again? <laughs> <laughs> Sound of Metal. Star Have Wars. You seen that? <laughs> no. What's Star that? Wars? Um, it's it's this one. I bet you've seen it on the streaming apps and been like, "Do I want to watch it?" And Wait, are it's... we drawing now? Are you oh drawing? yeah, yeah. Oh. I'm gonna start drawing. Yeah. Okay. So. So it's Riz Ahmed, and he's like, uh, you know, a crusty, punky guy. And he's in a little band with his girlfriend. And wouldn't you know it, he loses his hearing! Mm. And so, you know, he's freaking out. It's a drama. It's played very straight and serious and you're sad. <laughs> and, uh, you know, he's freaking out because he's losing his hearing. And, uh, well, I can't spoil it beyond that. He just learns uh, about himself. And... Uh, a lot of the actors are part of the deaf community and not hearing people pretending to be deaf. So is this that's an kind old of movie? interesting. No, no, it's brand new. It's brand, oh, it's brand is this... new and it's so good. Is this the one where he's a rapper? I know he was a rapper. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. Mm -mm. He's okay. a crusty punker. Crusty punker. Living in a van. Does he rap in it? I know he started out as a rapper. Mm -mm 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 -mm. No. Okay. It's crusty. It's not rappy. Mm. And so they do all this stuff where like 
it will sound the way a hearing character hears things. And then it'll cut to how he's hearing the same environment, room, whatever. And, you know, they're doing a bunch of stuff to make it to mimic ringing or make it sound muffled. Mm. And it's just very interesting the way they do it. Brandon says it's pretty great. Two thumbs way up for the sound of metal. A tour de force. Um, what am I watching? Now, well, you know that I watched Johnny Mnemonic. Mm-hmm. I'm watching it. We discovered. We discovered that that. Uh, you can just stream PBS. I don't know why we didn't know this. PBS? Yeah, without it. Do you without... have a Channel 13 passport? No. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I do. Because I had to, I found that info out when I was trying to figure out if I could get PBS. Mm. And, uh, and so I, now I watch the news on PBS. Oh. Like a, like a, like a 60 year old. 70 year old talked about the space force have they talked about the space force on bbs yeah. no yeah. they won't they won't even say the word space mm. <laughs> do you see tavis on there tavis yeah <laughs> <laughs> wait what's tavis <laughs> Is he Travis is a guy there? who works at PBS. Oh, wait. Um, I think, actually, I kind of think maybe there was a controversy about him. Let me Google it. Uh-oh. A lot of men turn out to be bad. Yes, mm-hmm. Tavis Smiley. Um, <laughs> is that a real name? <laughs> yes, I'm not making it up. <laughs> it does sound name. like something I would make up. Um, he's ordered to pay... million dollars to PBS for violating their morality clause. Um, So yes, he was fired amid some allegations and I regret bringing it up. (laughs) 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 Remember when we went to a drink and draw, Mary? Yes, that was fun. That was fun. It's packed full of people, and now we can't do anything like that anymore. No. Where would you guys go? Draw. Uh, where was it? Is it? Somewhere in Bushwick. It's at the Bat House on Star Street. Oh right. And we drew people. And um. It's funny that like. It's funny that, like, you know, people who have a specific, you know, art style and drawing style, Mm -hmm. but then, like, when you see them do live drawing stuff, and it's like, oh, they have foundational skills. Oh, sure, yeah. Yeah. You're one of those people. Thank you. Um, I I feel like the zip. Sip and paint, whatever you call it. I feel like it had a similar feeling to like going to the gym or something, yeah. and that you were like, I feel great. We should do this like all the time, but then like, <laughs> you never do it again. <laughs> There's also. I'm totally I, gonna I, start doing this. Like, this is great. <laughs> yeah, I've never yeah, been to a, a gym, but. <laughs> I thought you were going to say how it's like sometimes like you're intimidated because you look at everyone else doing their thing and it's like, oh no. Oh no, no, I roll in the big dog, so I'm not intimidated by nobody. (laughs) I feel like, I mean, maybe I'm just saying this because I wasn't there, but that seems like the kind of thing where people are not super judgmental. Yeah. Yeah, you know, that's I mean, really more the thing. I don't actually roll in thinking I'm a big dog. It's more that I don't think anyone's looking at my paper. Oh, I wasn't saying that in response to what you said. Oh no, no, no. I'm just, I'm just adding that yes, people are judgmental, and I really don't think anyone is looking at anyone else's paper. Yeah, right. that one in particular 
didn't have a snobbiness to it, and it was no. correct all the time. No. And there were people of all skill levels. Mm-hmm. It was like yoga to the people, but drunk. yeah, it was like that. Well, I guess I should probably pull up some of the cool art from last week. Let's see, let's see. Screen share. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Oh, there it is. Come on. Woo! Oh, that's really good. Right? That looks just like her. Yeah. So last week's theme was hair. So Daniel painted Cynthia with beautiful hair. I've painted a Yeti creature. Ooh, talk about hair. Melia, Mel, Malia, Sasha, and Malia. She painted a woman <laughs> with beautiful curly hair. Um, is it Dolly Parton? I think you mentioned that it was Dolly inspired because it was her birthday when we were painting. Aaron Taylor made a beautiful painting of a mysterious person with a long 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 hair and so then i called it hey my eyes are down here so i hope you liked that Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> noah okay embroider uh at embroider uh online she makes they make the coolest stuff sorry they um they made a bunch of ponies Ponytails. Boop, 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 boop. Pretty cool, huh? Let's see. Cousin It. Whoa. Hair much? I think yes, but we are trash people. Okay, this one I titled Hunk Alert by Alex Clark. I mean, isn't that hunky? Look at that. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> and then Hannah, she made a cross stitch of a raccoon. So this is the image she was working from, and then this is her. And she says, you know, raccoons have hair, so it counts. And I think that she's right. Anyways, so we're painting sci-fi today. I was pulling up a bunch of pics of 70s sci-fi art. This is sort of what I'm looking at at the moment. These, you know, space mountains. Looks like a little skeleton guy who's like, help! And then these guys are like, uh-oh. <laughs> this guy's like, I regret digging here. <laughs> okay, and then this is like a future car pulling a RV, and there's, you know, a future city back there. And it's like, well, the RV is like contemporary. What year is this? This is so crazy. Anyway, so I guess their RV is really old. Mm hmm, mm hmm. So, you know, here's an uh, astronaut, and he's taking some sort of selfie, and in his reflection, we see, uh, stuff. Uh, like a sun or something. <laughs> some kind of sci-fi thing. Driving towards the sun. Yeah, that's messed up. <laughs> Space fantasies. Look at those teeth. A lot of teeth going on here. Anyway, so this is another vision of what, you know, the spacey future might be like. Here's just sort of your standard spaceship kind of thing. Okay, women and babies in the future. That's right, but men are obsolete. That's right, it's a, a, a robots and women and babies and that's it. That's it for all the people. Anyways, next up. <laughs> <laughs> when I opened this image in new tab, I didn't even realize that it had like a candle effect going on. <laughs> I had just saw mean? like the lower half and I was like, oh, look at that cool space uh, globe. It's shiny enough. Yeah. Now I'm like, whoa, there's really something going on there. Okay, you know, here's sort of like a horizon, there's water, sort of uh, some orbs, some rings around orbs, that sort of thing, maybe it's a lens flare. 
so yeah, I'm, I think I'm just gonna tonight. I'm gonna paint like a collage of some of these kinds of elements. Yeah, I, I really like. Uh, <clears throat> I really like uh, cities in the distance. I think that's yeah. a good. Like a city line, a skyline. Yeah, I, I guess. I guess. I mean, yes, but like, I'm more in terms of like. Yeah, I guess. I guess exactly what you said. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that's. Uh, yeah. What would you say is the most futuristic city skyline? Today. Oh. Today. You got. I don't know Singapore or no Dubai and <laughs> Seattle. I would have said Dubai. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking Dubai. I was thinking Dubai. Looks like it's Dubai. Right. <laughs> Now that's a futury place. Have you guys ever been? Has anyone to, in the comments ever been to Dubai? Dubai? No. I have not. I was gonna say my hometown. Your hometown is the most futuristic place. What's your hometown? Aren't you from Philly suburbs? No, like oh. Williamsport. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Where's that? It's like in the middle ish, northeast central. It's a, uh, I would say three miles above sea level. <laughs> it's a cloud, oh, it's a cloud city. Hello. <laughs> Beautiful skyline. You're pulling my leg here. I thought you were someone who would never pull my leg. <laughs> and now, I well, I was like, I, oh, I don't know why I would say my hometown. <laughs> better pull her leg. Kind of inserting that glove thing and I'm already like oh I don't know if this was a good choice those mountains were looking okay <laughs> mm. I guess there's sort of a hand thing happening now <laughs> okay Jay Papagia in the house my friend had a trip planned to Dubai this year but it's been canceled obs That's it. Almost made it. What were they gonna do? Kate Sweeney says, "Oh my God, yoga to the people is so stressful." You know what's funny? I've never been to yoga to the people. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. So you were just assuming <laughs> that. It was non judgment. I mean, you were correct. You were correct. I feel like it had a similar vibe. And it, it had packed. a similar vibe in the way that Kate Sweeney is probably alluding to, in that it was a very, very packed room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was so crowded, she says. You know, sometimes I would go with Sam oh, Packer, God, and by it. sometimes, I mean, I think twice, maybe three times tops. And weirdly, we went at times that weren't crowded. Weird. I've never but done yoga. I hardly ever went because I was afraid of it being crowded. So I would only go if Sam Taggart said, hey, do you want to go? So, you know, that's sort of a summary of my relationship with... Sam. Yoga to the people and Sam. He, clear, he clears the room. <laughs> yeah. The only time you've ever seen Sam was those two or three times. Yeah. Never. <laughs> Doing uh... yoga in an empty <laughs> warehouse. Yeah. Yeah, the lights off. I'm trying. So this is a, you. I saw people in the chat saying that it's a cyber platypus. It is. Thought it would be funny. Mm -hmm. 
wait. But it's going to have a, a burning city in the distance. Oh so my I'm not God. particularly good at drawing. Yeah. Um, but when I was a little, I really wanted to be a comic artist, even though the only comics I read were the Ren and Stimpy ones. Mm. Wow. And I was I was going to bring up. Do you guys remember? I don't. Did you ever have a magazine where they would have like readers submitted envelope art? Like Nickelodeon no. magazine would do that and stuff. Uh -uh. Yeah, maybe. Did Wizard do it? Probably. It was a very like, you know, it was it was a way to get pe people to. It was a way to get people to like, you know, because you get prizes and stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. Nintendo Power did that, yeah. And uh, that I always thought was really interesting. It's a very like, I mean. Today, you could just, uh, you know, click a button, really. You want to talk about sci-fi and, <laughs> and upload your drawing. But back in the day, you know, people would draw on envelopes with the full address on them. Yeah. And then you could get published in a, in a magazine. I in remember Nintendo Power Magazine. On TV, on, like, Nickelodeon, there'd be a lot of commercials that are, like, send a postcard to one of women. Yeah. Uh, the Seventh Avenue, New York, New York, blah, 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 blah. and that's like crazy <laughs> to think now. Yeah, <laughs> like a commercial saying "send mail" and here's the address. That yeah, or even just like send if you were buying something, you know, mail order, and you had to send the exact amount of money with. You'd have to calculate your own taxes, and then also do the shipping and handling, and it's like. You don't even. Why? Why? Why do I have to think about that? Yeah. Imagine um, your task for the day is going to get a money order at the bank or the post office to buy something online or I, on TV. I, I used to do that really? when I wanted to buy stuff off of eBay. Mm. My parents wouldn't let me use their credit card, <laughs> so I would I would go to the bank. <laughs> As like a small child, <laughs> or probably more likely my parents would do it for me. <laughs> and I'd have to mail a money order. How awful must that have been to get a money order <laughs> in the mail? <laughs> do you think there were any sci-fi movies from the past that were basically the technology we have now? And then now that it's now, it's not a sci-fi anymore? Um, I feel like, yes, there must be. And I'm yeah. trying to think of an example. And it's like, well, I guess the, it's just a movie about phones. Right. The thing is, most movie sci-fi movies that I've seen, and, and believe you me, I've seen quite a few, mm. uh, <laughs> did not predict the cell phone. So it was more likely that they would have a video phone or something yeah. or something that like, I mean, I guess we have FaceTime, but you wouldn't have a, like a dedicated pod that you would enter and then dial up a video phone yeah. chat. You would see mm. a lot like landline video phones. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So you still have to be at home, but you could video with someone. Which I guess like, Sounds better, maybe. Yeah, it's more <laughs> deliberate. You'd have to, yeah. It's pro also probably more expensive. Mm -hmm. You have to pay credit. So you have to pay a couple credits to use a video phone. Mm -hmm. You guys remember using pay phones? Yeah. Yeah. I used to want to try to be a hacker. <laughs> That's so funny. I used to want to try to be <laughs> non-committal. I found uh, I found out how to like uh, use the sound that that you play it into the payphone, mm. and then like it has the sound of when you put the yeah. I guess it was a black box. Yeah, I was a freaker. <laughs> You were a phone freaker. Oh. Yeah, but I was just like a... Did, did you do it? Did you do that? 
Yeah, but it's like I was in high school, so I didn't have anyone to call long distance. So I just like <laughs> called my sister in college. <laughs> she's like, "I'm trying to study," and I'm like, "Yeah, but I'm cool." <laughs> I'm, I'm hacking. Freaking. But I'm freaking the. <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> There'd be times certain uh, pay phones it wouldn't work. And all of a sudden, I'd hear someone like an operator pick up and be like, "I know what you're doing," and then I just hang up and like run away. <laughs> Can I get some confirmation? Is Rose enjoying the phone freaker? <laughs> Is she enjoying this talk about Nintendo Power Magazine? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Rose's favorite things. <laughs> Rose used to um, use. Well, what do you think? Did Rose use 1-800-C-A-L-L-A-T-T or do you think she did 1-800-COLLECT? Uh, at, she, uh, she, she must have been using COLLECT. Mm. I think COLLECT. Interesting. Hm. Why do you disagree? <laughs> yes, I think, I think she was using C-A-L-A-T-T. Uh. <laughs> Huh. More than hmm. What was the other one? Was it 10, 10, 3, 2, 1? Oh, wow. I just saw that Good commercial memory. today. Uh, How? Where? Someone uh, posted it on uh, uh, Twitter. Hmm. And it was John Litgow and his daughter talking about 10, 10, 3, 2, 1. I, well, that, that's really funny. I, I think there's a... <laughs> Uh, George Carlin one too. They use the greats. Yeah. <laughs> I remember David Arquette mm. and wrestlers being on one of those. Was AP, it the AT and T one? It's either AT and T or Collect, and it was him and wrestlers, and it was a cross promo with the a wrestling movie he was in that I forget what it was called. <laughs> so there's a lot less um you know collect call commercials with um david arquette these days i have to say probably about 50 50 percent fewer <laughs> uh, i saw in the chat that uh 1-800 collect is still around did i see that really i you know stuff like that i mean yeah it's still active because because it, I mean, not everybody has a cell phone in the world, you know? Yeah. So it's not stuff that we take for granted. You might, you know, you might still need mm -hmm. 800 collect, which is something that I've never personally used, but uh, Rose loves Nintendo Power. Rose is hardcore. I think Nintendo Power stopped before Rose was born. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> <clears throat> so, you know, I'm sort of doing, you know, this effect with the brush where I make it spacey. See if you can tell. Ooh, it's like space, stars. Mm. Oh my goodness. Whoa, what are we? In space looking at stars? I think we are. That's cool. Thank you. Uh, I'm using computer paper, which I think is pretty science fiction y. <laughs> I didn't have any. I, you know what I found while I was, um, I did find, so one thing that I, I have with me still as an adult is um, uh, I I have my sketchbooks from when I was like a little kid mm -hmm. and I was looking through them and they're very embarrassing, but it's very <laughs> funny how many times I drew Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> I was looking at them and thinking like, well, obviously I loved it when I was a kid and also as a full grown adult, uh -huh. but it's such an appealing character. Cause it's so, it's just a bunch of circles, you know, like that's mm -hmm. really. The eyes are good. Yeah. Like he doesn't, he has like one eye technically, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Love that. He's got like. His eyes are connected. He has something that also I noticed Homer Simpson has, 
which is like um <laughs> no, like you know how like okay so he's got like his his mouth mm-hmm. it's almost like a diff it's like a fleshy like a different part of his body oh and yeah. I was thinking, like, because also when I was looking through my sketchbooks, I threw the Sims, I drew the Simpsons a lot, mm-hmm. and Homer. I was looking at pictures of it, and I don't know if you've seen like recent illustrations of Homer. Actually, can I show it Please. on the screen? Please. Yeah. <clears throat> so I found this one. Um... Hold on. We're holding on. This is okay. when, this is when the voice would be saying, "Do you accept this call from <laughs> Steve D?" I'm and sharing the like, yes. <clears throat> oh, okay. Let's see. Got it. So, do you see how like he has like shadows? Yeah. Do you see how the shadows are on his like beard area? Five o'clock shadow. In a way that like makes it look like it's not quite like it looks like he, it's it's not it doesn't look like a beard it looks like it's a different part of his a different section of his head to me and like that's his real skin and he's wearing a skin over it right like it's a cow like a Batman cow well also of course you know real fans like us we know that. The, the brown thing is supposed to be five o'clock shadow and he's supposed to shave, be completely yes. yellow, and then it grows back immediately. But this drawing <laughs> with the deep shadows is sort of implying that it's like a longer, fuller beard that would be casting a shadow. Because it would not only big it is. be a longer, fuller beard, but it would be so defined. <laughs> That it, I mean, I don't know. Cause that also like, I scroll down a little bit here and I saw like this one, the light is hitting him in a way that I would more anticipate. I mean, there's still like a little bit of weird shadow mm-hmm. on his protruding <laughs> beard. I just thought that was funny. It is funny. It's not really how faces are shaped. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's the weird thing about the Simpsons is that they don't really look like humans. <laughs> this is true. This guy loves donuts. what a funny drawing the best parts anyway that's all i got about homer (laughs) that's great just thought the history channel documentary where they're analyzing artwork from the renaissance i also found out that nancy cartwright voice of bart simpson is a scientologist because oh, I was yeah. looking, I was looking that up because I watched the Leah Remini docu- documentary about Scientology, and I was like, "Who else?" Mm. Mm. And uh, very disappointed <laughs> to see that. I just saw she did a master class on vo- uh, voiceovers on Scientology. <laughs> on Scientology. <laughs> <laughs> it was supposed to be about voiceovers, but it was just about. <laughs> She made you take a stress test. Yeah. <laughs> yes. A stress. <laughs> yeah, hooked up to the e-meter or whatever. Mm-hmm. Or whatever. I watched like 20 hours of the documentary. <laughs> <laughs> having trouble remembering. <laughs> All right. Steve, you were interested in watching that John Travolta movie. I was. And we watched it. Yeah, Bought it we Battlefield Earth. We watched the whole thing. That was insane. I couldn't believe that. I couldn't believe how good it was. I, you know, had heard the name as like, you know, random movie name that you've heard of but never seen. And in my mind, I just pictured like, oh, whatever, action movie. And I didn't really, didn't realize it was um, insane. (laughs) Is it really like wacky? Oh, my God. I don't know if wacky is the right word. It's very like. Steve, give him the rundown. Uh, you know, it's like a fever dream almost. It's like, wow. it's a, uh, it's kind of like the the a bad uh, kind of the characters are kind of Avatar esque, but not really. They've got like like computer animated. They're not computer animated. It's John Travolta in makeup, 
Have you, do, do you know, do you, have you, fear? I know, I know the, like how it was a favor for a Scientology guy or something. It is, it's, it's based on a, um, L. Ron Hubbard, L. Ron Hubbard, uh, okay. novel. Gotcha. And <clears throat> here, if you just look at this, my screen here, it, this is, <laughs> <laughs> this is what it looks, this is what it looks like a whole movie. <clears throat> and it's, he is the only famous person, right? Um, it's also got, uh, um, I'm on his face the other. He's the. Remember, we were talking about it, and we. Oh, Forrest Whitaker. Oh, right. Oh, is he a who, yeah, he is. So, he he was talked into it by John Travolta. Woof. So it's really. Um, Barry Pepper, too. It's yeah. like visually abrasive because the yeah. experience is like watching like a student film or like a friend of a friend's movie that they paid for themselves. Um, like it kind of doesn't make sense and it looks very low rent, but yeah. then there's two huge stars. <laughs> in it. Yeah. yeah. And, and it's this like shot of it on screen. That's not like stylized for this picture. There's a blue filter on like 90% yes. of the movie, <laughs> but it's not supposed to be like nighttime. Do you and think I would say maybe any... an hour into it, there's a scene where they're outside with like grass and it's like, oh, this takes place in normal world. Uh, well, it's, it takes that. place in Battlefield Earth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, there's Battlefield course. Earth the whole time is what they yeah. say at the end of the movie. <laughs> Well, you know, I'm having such a blast talking about Battlefield Earth. <laughs> it would be such a shame to be interrupted by a visitor. The game. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. You got gamed. You got gamed. Is that you? Yeah, it's me. Oh, it's great. The we game got master. gamed. Yeah. No. No. Well, so, this is uh, crazy. The game master. What's what's new with you? Uh, you know, things are going pretty. Uh, it's it's kind of a complicated question. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> let me. It's like the 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 moment now. Not mm -hmm. not good. I would call it not good, but the the future is branching out. There's a lot. There's a lot of exciting prospects <laughs> for me that sort of cancel out just the overall situation I'm in. Mm -hmm. uh, so 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 before we really get okay. So first, firstly, if 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 you're if you're perhaps relatively new to the to the to the stream. You might you might be a little bit confused as to what 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 my deal is, you know? I'm, I'm no, the game what master. What is a game master? What is a no, game master <laughs> eat? <laughs> these, these are all good questions. But what what I do is I, I hijack the stream and I <laughs> provide uh, choose your own adventure games yeah. for for Mary and her guests to play. You, you know, know it's, I feel it's, it's, it's a similar plot mechanism to me, Steve, and Manolo. It's as if we're trying to cross a bridge, and then you know, a troll is like, "Hey, stop! You have to <laughs> do this." <laughs> right? Yeah. Would you say I, this is like a toll of sorts? I I guess metaphorically. Me, sure. Metaphorically, we're not actually yeah, on a bridge. Uh, well, I think told you actually are just you're just kind of going in one direction. This seems like it's. I'm sorry, I don't, you know what, you're right. So we gotta get into the chair a little bit. Okay, here we go. Uh, two things for me to talk about before I get into this game. Uh, the first thing is, uh, this, this particular two, these are an adventure game 
it, um, let's just say it teed off some very powerful people. So if my Wi-Fi gets kind of shoddy, you know, like if it starts freezing up a little bit, that's, that's just cause they, they, they don't want me here, here tonight. <laughs> you know, I, I can't name any names, but let's just say right now in, in, in the moment, I feel like Mank in the movie Mank, you mm. know? Yes, yes. I was just thinking the same thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're kind of on. I mean, yeah, kind of being attacked from all sides here. You know, the the the, the powers that be don't want me here with you, but I'm here with you tonight. Second thing is, uh, this this particular adventure, uh, you, you, you might so some of you might remember uh, the last time I was here, I mentioned that I'm a bit of a entrepreneur of sorts. I have oh, several yes, business yes. ventures. One of which was going to be a restaurant called Disco Blues. That was unfortunately shut down to the, due to the pandemic, which mm -hmm. really sucks because I invested a lot of my money and my father's money into yeah, this. I'm, I'm sorry, I I don't I'm I don't want to be a negative Nancy. Um and I'm and I'm definitely not trying to give you advice. You're the entrepreneur, but Of course. The last time you were on the show, it was well into the pandemic. You're kind yeah, of saying, I, I, I had this restaurant idea and then, oh, the pandemic ruined it. I would say that you hatched this plan mid-pandemic. Oh, okay. And what does that <laughs> say about you, Game Master? What does that say about you? <laughs> Here's the thing. I'm, so I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to... <laughs> enough, and I hear that for... Mm -hmm. I, I no, I, I I didn't hear what you said because the internet po pooped on. Oh on. sure. I didn't hear any of that. It, it's probably oh, better for me if I don't hear your, that. You know, what since I am with going your sunglasses through... business. Oh, dog sense. Oh, that was that 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 failed a long time ago. That that oh. that, 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 that was that was that was. Oh, good yeah. thing you're not a business. That was a while master. ago. But anyway, back to <laughs> back to disco blues. Uh, this choose your own adventure. This is a bit of a what if scenario. This is what would have happened if Disco Blues was able to get off the ground and, and become what it was destined to be. So it is okay. sort of about Disco Blues as a hypothetical. Of course. Right, so just keep that in well, mind. Dare I say, dare I say, we're game. We're game. We're ready to play. Yeah. yeah you're game. Well, no, I'm game master. Okay. You're, you're just game, no, I'm, I'm master of the game. All right, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. here we go. Game player. Is everybody ready to, 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 to start this journey? Yes, sir. Ready. Right. The year is 2000 and cool. Disco <laughs> Blues... Disco Blues has become the most successful restaurant slash bar slash club slash hangout spot of all time. You are worth $50 billion. You own 10 Ferraris, and all of them are named Chuck. <laughs> you, could, you could walk into any Disneyland adjacent hotel and get the lobster stew for free. You're living the dream in general. But right now, you're hanging out for, 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 memory, for nostalgia's sake. At the first disco blues joint you ever opened in sunny LA, which is where they filmed the Get Shorty TV show. Just then, you spy your arch nemesis, Reggie Cola, operator of family restaurant chain Reggie's Good Mouse Times, walk into your little hangout spot slash bar slash nightclub slash restaurant. Just to give you a little idea as to who this, this fella is, he, he's 97 years old. <laughs> He has, he has one arm and three hands. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, this, I'm, I, I, I know this is a comedy show. This, I, I, I can't take this seriously. So, I'm sorry, I mean, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't want to tell you how to feel. I laugh when I get know. nervous and scared. Yeah, okay. Uh, the point is, he doesn't see you, see him, but he slinks into your, your back room. One of your many back rooms, so you do one of your many back room deals as a very successful individual. Do you A immediately confront him or B 
continue keeping an eye on him from afar. Do are we? Do we have to? Do we, we confer have, with each other. This right? is where you answer, and then yeah, yeah this is. So it, it, it's very interactive. You know, so what do you what do you think? I mean, first Can of all, you... I'm suspicious of this guy. Like, what are you doing at Disco Blues? Are you trying to like steal, you know, my secrets that make me successful? Um, that's yeah, the right. impression I'm getting seeing him come here. This but is... I'm also like, should I? I don't want to start drama. I hate drama. What do you guys think? I I think in the spirit of um, being confrontational, we should confront him. <laughs> yeah. You immediately <laughs> confront him. <laughs> you kick down way? the back room door and you, you so you kick down the back room door and you find Reggie Cola huddled over a map of the club with your bartender and adopted daughter, Melissa Schlump. You feel a trail strike at your heart. Your bartender and your adopted daughter working with your enemy. Do well, you? Wait, wait, sorry, could, sorry, sorry, before you ask the thing, are, they the, are the bartender and the adopted daughter the same person or two different people? They're two different people. Okay. One of them is Reggie Cola, 97 okay, right, right. one on three hands. The other one's Melissa Schlump. I you lost like, the friend. Melissa you... Schlump, okay. bartender, adopted daughter. Got it. Yeah, okay. Do you A demand an excellent do you demand an explanation? Or B begin raining blows upon Reggie. <laughs> what do you what do you guys think? I kind of zoned out. <laughs> <laughs> so, Is there a way you could sum this up or yes, yes. Right so our uh, has shown up at our business and he is, you know, sort of you know in cahoots with our adopted daughter and our favorite bartender of our restaurant and you know so we're totally like why is this guy here i'm gonna go talk to him and see like why he's here and so now we're deciding do we want to start punching him or mm. do we want to say hey why are you here gotcha. yeah i would probably uh, uh hmm hmm I'd probably punch him. I mean, I wouldn't do that as a person. Right, right. Sure. Yeah, collectively, we would. Okay. <laughs> if the three okay. of us were one. Yeah. Okay. We we're gonna him. we're gonna toss blows or whatever the euphemism <laughs> is. <laughs> you, you doesn't matter. You start punching him. <laughs> so here we go. So so here we go. Game time. So, 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 so start punching him, right? You know, and you know he, he he's taking him pretty well for a ninety-seven-year-old man. He you know he's, he's standing <laughs> up. Ninety-seven. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just want to hurt him. I forgot to mention. Did, that did you not get the, the description? Because this, this might come in handy very, oh, very, very soon. So he's ninety-seven. Oh. He has one, one arm, but he has three hands. So anyway, that's 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 going to come into play very soon. So anyway, Reggie, mm -hmm. he looks up at you with, you know, with, with fire in his eyes, so to speak. And you start to see, you know, his throat starts to, to quiver a little. And then his third hand bursts from his throat out of his <laughs> mouth, is close in a fist. Bang, gets you right in the face, right? Oh, You're out cold. Sneak attack. You come to, you're tied to a chair and the entire <laughs> club, thousands of people, are angrily staring at you. Do you ask what's going on to this crowd of angry people? <laughs> or do you run out of there? You get out of Dodge. What Two do options think? here. What do you guys think? Uh it's kind of like if I if I ask the thousands of people, like, what are you guys doing? Like what if I don't like their answer? Like that's what I'm scared of. Like you'd that's what to, makes running appealing. You'd have to address them one by one. Yeah. I I think And what if they say something mean to me? I don't want to hear that. I personally I would want to run just because I want to see what's outside. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's see what's outside. We're gonna make a run for it. All right. You run out of there. Deuces, <laughs> dumbos, you mumble as you run out the as you run out the back e exit. But you're shocked to find there's another angrier crowd waiting for you in the parking lot. Whoa, what? That's crazy. Also, 
quick quick sidebar uh this th- this this quiz this this game is sponsored by Brandon's hot air hot air balloons okay just keep that in mind do you <laughs> hot wire car and plow and do you hot wire car and plow through the crowd or do you use one of of Brandon's trusty hot air balloons to escape into the air I think I think it's a no brainer. I, mm. I'm definitely gonna check with you guys if you agree with me on this, but I'm thinking balloon. Yeah. Uh, We're gonna go balloon. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's good just for for me and for his character because they are very trustworthy balloons. Mm. As you hop into this trusty <laughs> Granin's hot air balloon, you feel safe, secure, and ready to take on the world. Wow, these controls are very intuitive, you think to yourself, as you softly and swiftly lift into the air <laughs> and glide onto the nearest roof. Downside is you get shot on the shoulder by one of the people in the crowd. <laughs> that's not the balloon. Just, just for the record, hang on. Just for the record, that's not Brandon's fault. That's not the company's fault. Right. Because the basket can only be waist level for maximum comfort, you know? Yeah. It, it doesn't make sense for a balloon to be able to protect you. Yeah. Just to, just to make that clear. Because you want to be able to enjoy the view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It seems more dangerous. Yeah. Yes. As you descend onto the roof, you realize you've landed on top of Reggie's Good Mouse Times, your arch nemesis's family restaurant. Oh, my God. Do you, you climb through the roof door, or do you start to plug up your shoulder wound? You know, I... The, I mean, we got two shoulders, so I would say do the climbing thing. I think I think Oof. that's a good point. And also, you know, I don't know if this fits in the rules, but when the option to plug up, I'm thinking that's like bandages, like, you know, really do it right. I think that we could, you know, enter the building while, you know, palming, palming our shoulder, which I think that, you know, will help stop the bleeding a little bit. So yeah. I think, yeah, I I think that's what we'll do. We're uh, yeah, we're gonna enter the building. Okay. So yeah, you're climbing through the door on the roof, and okay, so so you sneak down into Reggie's Good Mouse Times, and you look around, and you're so disgusted by this house of evil that you soil yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This 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 one's actually based on something that happened to me. I, I wouldn't. I, I feel kind of uncomfortable about sharing that. Mm. Anyway, you peek inside Reggie's office, and and you see him watching Impractical Joker clips on his computer <laughs> and laughing hysterically. Wait, Reggie is back at his restaurant. Yeah, yeah. He's back okay, in his okay. restaurant. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. yeah, he took a balloon. Well, too. This, is, this, is, this, is, this is his office inside a restaurant. So, so he knocked it out, and then he ran into the restaurant. Right. Because also there was like a decent amount of time before we came to, so you know, he's been yeah. making moves. Yeah, yeah. Okay, got it. Yeah. Do you take revenge or show him your personal favorite and practical Joker's clips? <gasps> oh my god. Oh, oh revenge my god. or reconciliation? What do you guys, Manolo? What do you think? Hmm. Let's try reconciliation. Okay, we're gonna show him a clip. All right, you gotta show him a clip. I see. <laughs> oh, should I have picked revenge? You chose. You chose what you chose. Okay. This is what happens. <laughs> That's pretty funny, you say. But how you see in school? Oopsky potatoes is mad funny. You watch all your favorite <laughs> and practical jokes, and you discover you have more in common than you thought. But wait! The angry crowd finds you in Reddy's office and threatens to burn your disco blues down. You yell out, but why? Why would you do this? Then a very tall individual from the back, um, I'm very good at projecting their voice, they yell out to you, because, you know, your jukebox, your jukebox started playing They Might Be Giants songs. And we saw it once, maybe an accident, two times, whatever. 
10 plays in a row of They Might Be Giants. You ruined the show blues atmosphere. It's been poisoned because of you. You, right? And then, and then, oh, wait a minute. But then, but then Reggie walks forward and says, don't worry, friends. Don't, 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 don't blame this poor, not, not poor, rich, you're rich. You're rich. You're ten. You're ten million dollars. Fifty million dollars. You're a billionaire, right? Don't don't blame them. Blame me. Or is I Reggie Cola that hacked into the jukebox and did ten plays of They Might Be Giants songs? It was sabotage on my part. And then the crowd immediately forgives you, and then everybody goes home. Everybody's happy. It's great. Months later. You and Reggie merge your businesses and become Reggie and Game Masters. Good time, disco blues, for your mouse. That's the end of the story. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Got a good ending. Got a happy ending. Yeah, wow. It was Hopefully a happy ending. Eventually. I'm glad that we didn't die or anything. Yeah, that's good. That's good. <laughs> was there a wide possibility of death? Can you not reveal this? Uh, I'd have to check through my notes. I I, I don't want to reveal that. I I don't want to spoil the magic. I still I would still still harbor resentment towards Reggie, but I would bottle it down for the sake of the business. I, I you, think I'd be fair. pretty mad at him, and I think I'd I think I'd just be making nice. You know, I don't know if I could really ever get over what he did to me. Yeah, right. These are all fair points. Yeah, these are all fair points. That were counterpoint, and say that I'm the, I, I am the, I am the game master, you know, and you, and I and I don't really come on your stream and tell you how to run your affairs, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I I don't I don't come on your oh. streams and criticize, and, 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 and criticize your cameras and criticize any of that. So mm -hmm. I I would appreciate it. And I know you're all good-hearted people. I, 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 I feel the energy. I feel the chi and all that. So appreciate it if you don't come at me and come at the Game Master. Because if you want to come on my turf, I'm the Game Master. I'm going to deliver that tenfold upon you, all right? Do you have a... Can we Can we go on a... Do you have a show? Can we go on a show? I don't have a show. I don't have any, any anything to plug. I'm, I'm just a Game Master. And, you know... I just I painted myself as someone, you know, who will pretend to get along with Reggie just to make nice. But I'm afraid I have to stand up for myself right now. We were criticizing the fictional character Reggie and saying yeah. that we were mad at him for mistreating us, the fictional game master within the game. So for you to take that as, oh, oh Steve, no. Manolo, and Mary, they're oh, yeah. being mean yeah. to the game master. Oh, yeah. I, that's messed up. That's messed up. All yeah. right. Tell, let me tell you what. He's he's a fictional character from me, the game master. He's part of the game. Reggie Cola falls into my territory, and you don't come after my territory, okay? Like Walt, <gasps> like Walt White, White in Breaking Bad, okay? Oh my God! Yeah. Oh my. Whoa. This is a shock to me. I did not realize that there were two sides to you. One 97 years old, one regular years old. Whoa. That's crazy. Game Master, get out of here. Get out. Reggie. Get yeah. out. Get I, out. I, I, I'm, trying, I'm trying to leave. It won't let me. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I very much enjoyed that. Thanks, Gabe. You're wherever you are. <laughs> That was really terrific. <laughs> Reggie was his Brad Pitt in Fight Club. Yes. Let's think about how many scenarios we didn't get to see. I know. Um, is there a version of that story that just plows through every possible scenario? Come here. Come here. I don't know how that how choose your own adventures work. Have you ever you've never read like a when you were a kid like a choose your own adventure novel? I would borrow them, but then. I wouldn't play them because they were too intimidating. <laughs> Wait, <like> choices. 
<laughs> I like them because it was fewer words. So you got mm. you got a story, but you get to yeah. skip a whole bunch of pages. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's good because I yeah. hate reading. Yeah, it's like reading a, a novella. Yeah, not even. It's like flash fiction. I, um, All right, let me get a load of these drawings. What's going on here? Oh, I was just doodling. Should I talk about it? Yeah, please. All right. <clears throat> this is upside down. I don't want to. All right. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, okay. So it started out as like a uh, astronaut type of guy. And then he, he was kind of attached to like a juice box kind of contraption and he was drinking it and I guess he's at a space console in like a rocket ship sort of thing and then you know I just kept doodling and then there's this person being like hey what's up and then he's like I'm thirsty and then there's a bird there's like a candle two candles on his head and the bird's like I didn't wait what did he say <laughs> <laughs> must be my birthday and uh like a, yeah i don't know yeah i really enjoy that yeah just hanging out on a spaceship it's also got a very like um like the perspective is cool on it too yeah because oh, yeah. the way that it kind of Shy, like uh, almost yeah yeah the way that it kind of, yeah exactly mm. very cool thanks that's a doodle it reminds me of um on home movies when they make the movie about the master of outer space do you know what i mean uh i haven't seen that show in a while but i like mm -hmm. the show so i imagine it's cool it is cool they build a little spaceship and make a little film in it nice yeah That's steve cool. what do you got i i went with my <clears throat> my cyber animal so i i did the I did a platypus. I'm trying to get a bigger picture of it. And so in the distance, there's the city on fire. It's like kind of a futuristic city, I guess, because it's got like... Or Seattle. It's yeah, it's pretty much, yeah. It's Seattle with also this. Yeah, huh? okay. So it might be Seattle like 2049. Mm, yeah. Um, but the, and he, he's got like a Cyclops kind of thing. And I thought this is very versatile because you could, you could attach it to like... <laughs> And then, so you hear, you know, Sonic going, aha, aha, because he shot him. <laughs> or like this one, like a UFO. Oh, this that's so cool. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. That's, <laughs> uh, that's about as far as I got. But I could, you could just fill in your own thing. Yeah. That's if you want, I could idea. upload this drawing and you could draw whatever you want. <laughs> What's the plan of which to shoot it? It's kind of my own little game. Yeah, yeah. but it always, it's kind of like a, a laser that makes whatever it's shooting kind of giggle like it, yeah it's, <laughs> it's like a surprise kind of like oh yeah. oh, oh, oh oh this you know Tickles, yeah. yeah that's about what i got well you know speaking of having happy's face um upon my uh breast uh, torso region you could have happy's face over your region. That's, that's <laughs> <right>. <laughs> Go to live slash wow. merch. Yep, that's right. Come on, get the shirt. It's so cute. We got sizes like small, we got sizes like really big, you know, every any kind of size, you know. So cool. So, yeah, check it out. And I don't know, maybe you don't want a shirt. That's okay. Um, you can still support the show. You can, we can just go to planetscum.live. And there's a little button to support the show. It, you know, it says, like, support the show or something like that. And, and then you click in and take you through a PayPal. And you can be like, uh, I like these people and I feel obligated to tip. But I'm, I don't have a lot of money, so I'll just give them a dollar. You could do that. Or maybe you're like, I'm a high roller. I'm going to give them a zillion dollars. And um, you could do that as well. Um, for instance, you could donate $1,500 and I'll watch The Irishman with you. Hmm. That's a that's a steal. Yep. In my opinion, because that's a long movie, I heard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So that's like a dollar a minute. Sorry, go ahead. Or you could, <laughs> or you could get a pic of me and Happy saying a cute thing to you for uh, twenty bucks. It's glossy. Yep, that's right. What does that look like? Hmm. What does that look like? Oh my goodness! And now, wait a second. What does the cast of the Irishman look like? What do they look like? <laughs> <laughs> Here they are. Oh boy. One hundred percent Irish. You could also um, get stickers. They're ten bucks, and they look like this. Yep. Damn. Yeah. Ten bucks. Mm -hmm. Eight dollars. I'll mail you a postcard and draw a picture on it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna level with you. That one's probably that one's probably the best uh, value. That's the best value. Eight bucks for a drawing by me, famous artist. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Um, or what's the five bucks one? Oh, yeah, a video shout out. Or for $2.69, just a, a text shout out saying, Hello, Bubby, I love you. Happy 88th birthday. And so mm -hmm. on. Don't forget to email your receipt to maryhoolahanxoxo at gmail.com if you want a little prize. So, you know. That's all I have to say about that. Well, that's great. <laughs> cool. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. What does my dad say? Uh, my dad says, I continue to feel improved, semicolon. I have very little fatigue, comma, and I have fewer coughing episodes. Yay, Which I think that sounds good, but I'm gonna be honest with you. Earlier today, he said I'm coughing way less. I'm totally fine. And then my mom called him, and it was like nonstop coughing. And I was like, hmm. Classic dad. Classic dad. But I don't know. He's yeah. He says he's feeling better. He's probably feeling better. That's my cool. mom says Mary's doing her show now out of her room. She has been great about the dogs. She even shoveled a little path for them to be. <laughs> it didn't snow too much, though. Yep, that's right. My dad will be pleased to know I've been doing tons of chores since he's been in the hospital. <laughs> yeah, what a good daughter. <laughs> yep, that's right. The place is looking spick and span. <laughs> hmm, does the chat have any questions for Mary? Maybe tips for not getting COVID as I have recently tested negative for it. <laughs> okay, well, I'm just going to have to respectfully disagree with Mel, who is saying Mary and Happy are infinitely cuter than the Irishman. Honey, did you see Joe Pesci in the thing? Cute as a button. <laughs> now, which one was he? <laughs> oh, boy. He's on the left. Is that now, who's that? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Marty down the middle. Classic. Okay, she. They relent and say, okay, fair. <laughs> What's my favorite episode of home movies? Um you know, I think I think that Captain of Outer Space one is pretty awesome. Did you see the uh the the main character made in a Appearance for on that what's that show Clarence there's like a different show and then they did a show in the style where in the style of home squiggle vision movies. just kind of like talking <laughs> and then he was like older and he worked at a Randall store video and they used oh. the guy it was pretty interesting I think the show is called Clarence it's called clerks Clarence clerks Clarence. Clarence. No, Clarence. Clarence. Is that the one I'm thinking of? Where they what use like animal? multiple. It's like what a kid's cartoon. Is it not Clarence? I'm looking it up. There is a it's show called Clerks. Clarence. Yeah, there's an episode where uh, that guy with the red hair was in it. Is it you were saying Clarence, but I was picturing Gumball. Gum. Well, no, yeah, it's Clarence. It's Clarence. No, he was in Clarence, not Clerks. Yeah, Br adult, adult Brandon Brand Small was on Clerks. No, no, it was Clarence. Clarence, like Clarence Thomas. 
<laughs> not clerks, Thomas. Do you guys want to hear some Clarence facts? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Well, to start you off, my brother, his name is Terrence. And so, a little game we play in my family, they call me Marence. <laughs> and my mother, her name is Claire. You know what we call her? Clarence. Wow. Nice. So, you know, that's just sort of the fun we have around here. I guess it <laughs> truly runs in the family. <laughs> yes. Whatever it does. That's right. That's right. That's the real trivia. Could it be? We have viewer art already. Oh, I want to see this. Yeah, I want to see this. Oh my Let's goodness! Get a load on. of this. Oh my god! That's what? wonderful. Cannon keeper of the forest. Classic. That's that okay. is great. That's really good. Goop goop. Ah, <gasps> Lady Three Thousand. Hmm. Mm. That's so cool. Yeah. Ooh. This is a good. little sketch of my favorite robot DJ, Rex. I think I, you know, I should have gone. I love robots. That's some trivia about me. Ooh. So I, I would love to see more robots. Oh, wait, I have another piece of Clarence trivia. Mm. And this is in reference to my mother, Clarence. Mm. Um, my mom loves Stephen D. Sienna, and she won't shut up about it. She's obsessed with him. I she know. Keeps, she keeps saying that you're funnier than everyone. Damn. Sorry, Manolo. I'm so sorry, annoying. Manolo, but I don't think she's really seen you in action. No, it's okay. She, she hasn't seen you in action. She, she, she was like, oh, fun. Steve D is on this week? The, <laughs> other, the other fellow seems nice, too. <laughs> is he from Dr. Game Show? She says that you're That's... so talented. She Has was she... basically saying in so many words, Steve D, that she thinks you're funnier than every comedian <laughs> she's ever met. <laughs> well, she Has should. She, she see she... my platypus drawing. <laughs> yes. Did she, go, she, did she go to your uh, shows, your cartoon shows? Yes, yeah, she's been to many. All right, let's look at this. Another kind of, what is this? Robot? Some kind of robot? That is a robot. It's nice. <laughs> That's a great robot. Pain. Orta <laughs> <laughs> from Star Trek. Horta. Order. Oh my goodness, that's me! Hey. <laughs> <laughs> that's, so boy. that's great. Yeah, that's very yeah, that's Astro Boy. That's very Thank funny. Thank you. I Thank love that. You. Ooh, I could stare at that all day. That's mm. what my legs look like. <laughs> <laughs> Are they jets? Yep. Zoom, zoom. Oh, that's so cool. Nice. Wow. Oh, neat. Oh, that's really impressive. They did yeah. a doodle to begin with. Okay, progress photos. A sneak behind the curtain. Very interesting. Wow, awesome. getting zapped up into a ship. You don't see that every day. Not mm -hmm. every day, no. Today, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you guys think about aliens? Believe. Uh, I think they're going to make themselves known to us this year. Yeah, I think this is the year for aliens. This is the year. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? This is when they come down and they're like, yeah, I guess, aliens I guess are like... is this year. <laughs> Aliens yeah. are like, 2021 is my year. Aww. They're like, oh, they're having such a bummer down on Earth. Let's yeah. like cheer them up. Let's cheer distract the them a little Earth. bit. Looks like a real dumpster <laughs> fire down there. That's what, there's <laughs> yeah. That's what they say. They're kind of lame. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looks like a dumpster fire, I want to say. And then they hey, come down. aliens. Yes, you can come over. Sticks. Aliens? Yeah. No, aliens are like that to us. Oh, oh, that's a, oh, they know. That was my alien impression. <laughs> <laughs> Do they know about I bet glow they sticks? see our glow sticks and then they 
they pick it up and they go to their friends and they say, this is what they call glow sticks here. Yeah, <laughs> they're laughing. <laughs> and they pull out lightsabers. <laughs> oh, get a load of this. Woo! Hey. The Blues. Game Master. Disco Blues. And that's good because it, uh, it's labeled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like this. These especially because I look so alluring. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> Art by at Cube Dweller on Discord. To give them a like and a acid emoji. Yep, that's right. <laughs> Have you guys been on the Discord, Manolo and Steve? Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm in it 24 hours. I I keep it open on this computer, but I don't really use this computer. But it, I'm there. If anybody asks me, I will eventually yeah. see it. <clears throat> I don't. Well, I keep. I have yet to um, figure out how Discord works. There's a throwing acid emoji. Nice. Okay, art by Rose. Nice. Oh, that's Sun, great. Earth, Moon, stars, mm -hmm. even. Wow. That's really cool. It's all there. You're only five going on six. Mm -hmm. And you're drawing practically like an eight-year-old. <laughs> oh. Is that weird that Earth doesn't isn't sci-fi until you're far away from it enough? I yeah, I don't know. Earth is sci-fi. Yeah, I don't know no, if I would agree with that. I would say it's more if Earth is like Earth but slightly different than it's sci-fi. Right? I guess, so. I guess that's a good point is that Earth is inherently sci-fi. I could agree. <laughs> I could agree far that. away from it. It's non-fi. <laughs> <laughs> We're so hip. <laughs> it's post-fi. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, once, it, once we see that it's planet looking, then it's sci-fi. Yeah. Rose, I don't know if you if you're looking at the comments, but get a load at this. Rose, I cry. That looks so good. Is that from Rose? So great, Rose. That's so good, Rose. That is the best. Whoa. <sighs> <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, that's a cool community. Yeah, you have a great community, Mary. They're nice. I like Very them. Very talented. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm, let's see. What else should I do with my boys, Steve and Malo Manolo, oh. now that I have you here in my clutches? Hmm. Hmm. Turning into the Game Master. <laughs> <laughs> do I feel a game coming on? Mm, nah. <laughs> oh, check it out. Check it out. I got this at the dollar store. Ooh, have you oh, used nice. it? Oh, mm nice. -hmm. Uh, what have What's... you used so far? I'm going to give you some prompts. All right. Discord is just like, it's like uh, Slack. Yeah. <laughs> It took me a while to figure out Slack too, but I yeah. actually got it. It's it's like Discord. Okay, okay. but my prompt, could, yeah. my prompt for Manolo. Mm -hmm. What do you love, and what do you hate about specifically the beach? Oh man, I okay. I don't like anything about the beach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not a beach person at all. But the one thing I could like is the breeze, because I like a nice breeze. Yeah. So I like I like the breeze, but I don't like anything else. Sand, it's just dirt. And the ocean, it's just watered down dirt. And I don't know what to do on it. It's just, it's like, I don't know what to do when I'm on the sand or in the ocean. I don't, do you splash? Sometimes... Uh, when you say things like sand is like dirt, for some reason I picture fan art for Doctor Game Show of you, where somebody <laughs> has drawn you saying that. It just it's just a very like because I don't know. You guys should look up Doctor Game Show fan art. First of all, it's crazy. There's so much of it, and it's it's amazing. 
Uh, but uh, I particularly love the Manolo fan art. It's mm. uh, it's got a lot of great Manoloisms. Yeah, but I don't know. That that's that's my answer to the prompt. Wonderful. Great question. Steven, here is your prompt. What is a place that you would be pleased to be locked in overnight? Oh Jesus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh boy. Um you know that the merry-go-round down in Dumbo? <laughs> yeah. That. That'd be nice. I have yet to go. Is it what 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 do you like about it? Well, it, what's not to like really? It's a big big old merry-go-round. Yeah. I I I went there when it first opened <clears throat> and I really enjoyed it. <laughs> uh, but um or when it first reopened. But it is it's it's enclosed. And it's also it's mm. it is closed. I don't think it's open right now. Uh, so I would this go is, there. You wouldn't even have to lock me in. I just stay there. You're assuming that this is something you could operate throughout the night. That's a really great point. Yeah, you, I guess so. I would learn a lot about Mary Yeah, I think that's a great idea. In other words, I've got nothing. The beach. <laughs> what a nightmare to be locked into a beach. <laughs> I'm locked in a beach. You know, one time I was over at that park in Dumbo, 4th of July, Ooh. and I'm with my friends, Ronnie and Andrew, my good, good friends from high school, sat at the same lunch table. And we buy tickets to ride the NYC ferry at the little ticket kiosk and we have these paper tickets and we're waiting and we're waiting where is the ferry and I'm like sometimes it takes a long ass time this ferry's you know it's nice riding on it but sometimes it takes a long ass time and we're sitting and chilling out and then we um, realize that the ferry isn't running that day because it's the 4th of July and so mm -hmm. we just spent a day at that park and my friend Brawny has a degree in landscape architecture no so he was pointing at every plant every plant in the park and saying this one is from this country this one is native to the americas this one was brought over by the english and this one is actually no good and we were like oh my goodness and you know learning which plants to like and dislike and uh, <laughs> wow. it was such it was a wonderful time and then we ate pizza adventure. and you know How i'm did you glad get we didn't ride that ferry because we had so much fun killing time waiting for the ferry in the park oh, it eventually came no it never came it wasn't <laughs> running that day oh <laughs> 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 okay, check out the merry-go-round at Bear Mountain and closed. I think I have a picture of me as a baby at Bear Mountain. Let me try to find it really quickly. Is I this think in it's New on Jersey? Facebook. It's in New York State, but right over mm. the border, right over the border. It's about 20 minutes from where I live. Bear and Mountain. I live in New Jersey. Is that a town? Bear Mountain. It's a mountain. <clears throat> oh, and there's a carousel there yeah. in a mountain. Whoa. Yeah. That's wild. You know, it's like a national park or a state park. You can, uh, they, they got a bunch mm. of activities. Don't. You feed can the ice skate down. there. Whoa. Okay, let's see. So now I'm going onto my Facebook and looking at pictures that I've posted in my lifetime. Let's see. I know there's a picture of child me at Bear Mountain. I know there is. Let's see, profile pictures, I think it's in there. I don't think I've ever <clears throat> been to Bear Mountain. It's, I've been uh, to a lot of places in, in Jersey I've that, are, that are like this. <clears throat> Share screen. There was a- Chrome tab. Merry go around in a place by my town where you threw rings at things. This is me. This is ah. me ice skating at Bear Mountain as wow. a girl. On the left? On the left. That yeah. one's me. That one's me. I have brown hair. Who's on the right? 
That's Katie B. She's my friend. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> Hello. Of course, Katie B. Oh, I'm sorry. She's my good friend. We love each other. That's cool. We were just texting the other day. We were talking about books. Are you still friends with her? Yes, we're great, great, great friends. Yeah. I don't know if I keep in touch with any of my childhood friends. Just well, I recommend becoming friends with Katie B, Ronnie, and Andrew, especially if you want to learn about plants. Eventually. I have to get plants at my house. <clears throat> Uh, okay, we got a person from Peekskill in the house, Hudson Valley, New York. It looks like they spent a lot of time at Bear Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I've seen that as a train stop. <clears throat> Peak they skated there as a child as well. Wow. Well, you know where I used to skate as a kid? Where? Uh, Rockefeller Center. <laughs> Actually, I don't think that's true. I don't think I ever did that. Wait, where did you grow up? I don't think up? I did as a child. I grew up on Staten Island. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I, I did do it. I did go there because I remember my family complaining about how expensive it is. <laughs> <laughs> Fun memories. Yeah, that's all I remember. <laughs> I remember going to the Museum of Natural History. And the Bronx Zoo, of course. Oh, yeah. And, oh, yeah. And, uh, I, uh, I haven't been to the Bronx Zoo since I was a child, right? Do, do people go as, like, adults? They should. No. My, I, friend, I'll that <laughs> my friends were going to get married there uh, last year, but they didn't because of the pandemic. Mm. It was all this time. Yeah. Well, it's, uh, well, it's really not. Nah, I mean... <laughs> it's new. I just remember the that they would let peacocks roam free, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which is wild. Pretty Growing cool. up, I used to drive back and forth from my hometown to New York a lot. And one time, I had to uh, use the bathroom driving back, and I stopped at this. Uh, reptile kind of zoo reptile zoo along the way home in pennsylvania called reptile land because they had it it was attached to a subways i was going to use the subways bathroom to pee and then i came out <laughs> and then these peacocks started walking out towards my car and i got scared so i went back and Aww. to the car and <laughs> like they were guarding subways from letting me use the bathroom just uh there's it's reptile land attached to, <laughs> to the subway <laughs> <laughs> and it was guarded by peacocks <laughs> so if you're going to subway to get a sandwich then you're like might as well check out the yeah. reptiles on <laughs> <laughs> here they got reptiles next door right. <laughs> reptile <laughs> land no. what do you guys got but where in Pennsylvania? You're just driving through Pennsylvania. I think it's like Allentown. It's like yeah. maybe or Allen something. Yeah, it's like near my hometown. And uh, yeah, the it's like kind of like how KFC, Taco Bell is like combined. They have a subway reptile. Right? <laughs> the last time I, I had to drive through Pennsylvania, I was there for a wedding. And uh, that's when I learned that everybody in Pennsylvania drunk drives. Like everybody does it, at least in like the middle of the middle of Pennsylvania. <clears throat> yeah. And so we went to this bar and I put on the jukebox De uh, Deacon Blues by Steely Dan and they immediately <laughs> turned it off. Because it's a seven minute song. Because That's what? Funny. It's seven minutes. And also, it's, uh, I don't Steely Dan is not a great bar song. Well, I. Not if you're a drunk driver. Yeah, the car will drive itself home. That's what they say. I went to my hometown bar and I would play Aphex Twin in the jukebox because <laughs> it would go like it had that online feature, so I'd like spend the extra dollar for. It. Yeah, it's an Allen would, but yeah, I would put a uh, window liquor, and then they would like try to skip it and stuff and put on the Dave Matthews. And, mm. yeah. 
love Do Dave. You remember Matthews. when we saw Steely Dan at PNC Bank Art Center? Oh yeah, that was really fun. Yes, <laughs> I was just thinking it. about that. Hmm? I can't believe they would skip the uh, Steely Dan. It's 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 not a great, it's not a great bar song. I get it. It's I, a real I, sit in your room song. Right. I I, I, I like <laughs> okay. the song. That's, that's on why you. I, put it on. I wasn't like trolling them, but then mm. when they skipped it, I was like, you know what? <laughs> I I deserve losing that three dollars. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Should have put on Black Cow. We went to see Steely Dan at PNC Art Center. We were, I think, probably the youngest. Oh my god! Yeah. Really? At least in our in our immediate vicinity. I mean. This was like post yacht rock resurgence. Uh, it's probably kind of, like 2015, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Around then. Yeah. That's um, crazy. but it's also like PNC Art Center. Like it's it's <laughs> definitely a place where if you're going and it's like the the place where you're going out and it's the one time that month that you're going out. You know, like you live in the area and you're like, let's go see Steely Dan, and then you get to just <laughs> you just drive there. And it's like your night out, and it's you know it's really nice. Yeah, we drove very far <laughs> to get there, and it was worth it because it was super fun. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How long was the drive back? It can't be that long. Yeah, I don't, like an it hour, wasn't... hour and a half. For me, that's a long time. Who was, were you driving? Probably. Who was driving? Three it must have been me. Man, that was fun. And then, well, we also, you and I went to see, um, yellow. Were, oh, we did see yellow, but we went to see, see? <laughs> uh, what I remember us going to see something at Shea stadium. Was it the steely Dan? Oh, it was covers. It was Steely Dan covers. Yes. At Shea stadium. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not the baseball field, but the old, oh, okay. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. imagine a bit. <laughs> The cover band, <laughs> cover of Steely Dan, packed out Shea Stadium. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Wow. Okay, so I thought they were making a joke that Deacon Blues is about driving drunk, but they're true. If they're correct. Yeah. Drink scotch whiskey. <laughs> no, I never even put that together. All I was just throwing it out there. And die behind the wheel. Maybe that's why they skipped it. Because they were like, uh, oh, we my. like doing that. Yeah. We, we want to die behind the wheel. Yeah. yeah. Haters. Um, <laughs> did you ever, did you guys see Oh Hello? I saw most of it. They have um, fictional Steely Dan songs in it uh. that sound so real. <laughs> it's like extremely hilarious how real they sound. <laughs> Like the nice. melodies and the lyrics are, <laughs> they sound the real. Song, yeah. <laughs> I'll watch it. I'll finish it. I'll check that out. I really liked it. I saw it twice. Live. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm nice. Three times. Who were the, who were including the online. I saw it once with my family, and the guest was, um, oh, what's her name? Lucille Bluth. Mm. Mm. Lucille. Jessica. What is her name? Anyways, it was that actress. And then I went another time with Anna Maria Sophilis. Classic Gethard Stan. You know the one, right? Mm. Maybe. You guys know her. Um, and when we saw it, the guest was Alan Cumming. Wow. Mm. So More like Alan guest. going to that show. <clears throat> uh. Just Walter. Jessica Walter. Mm. So, well, yeah. that's fun. I'll check it out. The fake Steely Dan song, I remember it had the word Rosemary in it, like a woman's name. <laughs> <laughs> I lived next to a Rosemary growing up, and I never, I didn't realize that that wasn't a name that like like younger people had until i was older you know young wait what like because the rosemary you now i realize that like oh my grandma rosemary or whatever but it was mm. like, like like a kid my age was named rosemary oh, wow. oh, so sure. I was always like oh yeah like my friend rosemary 
everybody would be like, is she 97? <laughs> I'd That's be like, I'm fine. how I felt <laughs> about the name Mary. Like, it's not, really? it's not Gertrude or anything, but you don't really meet a ton of them. It's, t I it's think not it's Gertrude of, or Ingrid, you know, it's, it's not Super of, Grandma, but... I, I, I knew some Ingrid's our age. I knew a lot of Marys, but I think it was because of Staten Island. Mm. <clears throat> Is that where they grow them? Yeah, that's where they. That's where they're from. They grow them. Mm -hmm. It's Maryville over at Staten Island. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm <laughs> that's what they say. Sarah a of... meets a lot of Sarahs wherever she goes. It's true. It's true. My mm. generation. It's all Sarahs, Ashleys, Alyssas. Uh, uh, those are the names. Those are the only names of people my age. Pretty much. I know someone who was going to be named Sarah, but then her parents realized that it was a popular name. So then they changed it the last minute. Yeah, my my parents were going to name me Dave, and then they changed it to Steve because they thought that Dave was too popular. Yeah, yeah. Steve is kind of <laughs> unique. <laughs> right. The person who was going to be named Sarah was me. They changed it to Manol. Whoa. <laughs> what? Yeah. Wow. They're like, he's not going to meet another Manolo. And the, were, were they right? Did you meet another Manolo? No, I don't think I have. Uh, yes, I have. And he, but he was older than me. So, so it doesn't count. Yeah. It doesn't count. No. Now, these days, there's mm -hmm. going to be a ton of Bella and Edwards. Because <laughs> okay. the, the Twilight. Oh. You know, and they're, they're I, all... have... I need to ask your guys' advice. Uh, you know what I think is such a good name for a child and it's the name of my great aunt who I like and who was my confirmation sponsor and <laughs> I think it would be great to give a child her name the name is Bernadette and do you guys think that people <laughs> our age are gonna name a ton of children Bernie names like Bernard and Bernadette. Bernard. Well, Bernice. For, because of Bernie like, Sanders? Yes. Do you think there's going to be a boom? <laughs> I don't think. I, don't I think do so. feel like the name definitely is more in the public consciousness now. Probably, yeah. Probably Bernard, but not Bernie. So, you know. Bernadette. I, I, worry, I worry for young Bernadette that every girl at her school is going to be named Bernadette. <laughs> <laughs> They're all going to have the last name Sanders. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think Bernadette's great. I'm, I'm yeah, all for uh, more think? unique, you know. You should but, do it anyway. Name. Yeah, you should do it. Mm -hmm. You should do that. Do you want to hear a fun <laughs> fact about my aunt's Bernadette? What? That we call her Aunt Bernadette. Of course, because that's her name, Aunt Bernadette. Aunt Bernadette. That's what we've called her forever because that's her name. And Aunt? I would say, yes, Aunt. Aunt Bernadette. She is my mm. grandma's sister. Mm. And uh. I would say only about three or four years ago, my dad said, well, and my dad has a very like wry and dry sense of humor. He's, you know, he's like when he makes a joke, uh, only smart people get it, that kind of thing. And so mm -hmm. he says, um, you know, her name is actually Anne Bernadette. And then we all laughed because we thought that was really funny because Anne sounds like Anne. <laughs> That's her like full name. And then he was like, no, I'm serious. <laughs> and we were like, what? <laughs> and my dad revealed that our aunt Bernadette is actually named Anne. <laughs> aunt Anne. And Bernadette is her middle name. That's so interesting. Did, so she, but does she go by, does she go by Bernadette in like her day to day? I think maybe Anne, maybe that was a popular name when she was a kid. Or maybe she just didn't like it. She had always gone by Bernadette. Yeah, it's just... it was her middle name. Interesting that you would drop Anne for Bernadette, but I I, I get it. Yeah. No, you, it doesn't rhyme with anything. Bernadette. So you couldn't get made fun of in high school for that name. I say go for it. Yeah. Okay. The next kid you see. It's bullyproof. 
Yeah. <laughs> Name them Bernadette. <laughs> Andrew Tabs, a big fan of hair, says that older names are coming back. Yep, that's right. His 90-year-old grandma hates that Evelyn is back in the mix. She doesn't like the name Evelyn. Oh, come on, Evelyn. Come on, get over it. Did she go by Eve? I think that's a pretty name. <laughs> I have an Aunt Debbie. Sorry, I just, I'm catching up on the chat. <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of people have an Uncle Ed. I have an Uncle Ed. Yeah. I don't think I do. That's well, too it's two against one, Manolo, so I'm right. I'm out of <laughs> here. <laughs> Uncle uh, Ron. Dot says, Dot says um, that, you know, her name is Dorothy, and that's that's pretty old lady sounding. And, you know, I think I might have to crown you. That is maybe the old ladiest name <laughs> in the group Dorothy? right now. But Dot is a beautiful name, too. Yeah. Yeah. Dottie. Aunt Dot. Mary. Who doesn't have an Aunt Mary? Am I right? Get this, get this. Mary's in my family. I have an Aunt Mary, and people call her Big Mary, and they call me Little <laughs> Mary. Huh. And then my grandma on my dad's side, Bernadette's sister, her name is Mary. And my great-grandma on my mom's side, her name is Mary. That's specifically the Mary that I was named after. The other Marys, I wasn't named after. <laughs> You don't even share the same name mm -mm. as the other one. They made her last name my middle name. Wow. Um, yeah, Doc I feel is like a I just had a thought of something to say that wasn't interesting, but <laughs> then I, what was it? Um, hmm. Hmm. What's happy derived from? Yeah, how did you come um, up with that name? Well, let me show Iron you. Man. Let me show you. Happy. Happy. Web. Okay. Ooh, I hear that scratching, Steve. I'm sorry. I like leaned into the microphone. <laughs> ASMR in it. I found a. I, totally by accident, I found a whole sub section of ASMR uh, of people eating cheeseburgers on YouTube. <laughs> it has all the sounds, I guess. So <laughs> on the art gallery website, you know, I designed it to look very uh, web 2.0. Click for mm -hmm. music. Do, do, do. Uh, the welcome to my homepage and there's a little counter. And then here's some links <laughs> on the side. And one of the links you will find is Happy's web page. <laughs> oh, brother. So this is Happy's web page from the place I adopted him from, uh... which hasn't been taken down. And you'll see Happy originated from oh, Horsey. Horsey. Horsey was his name. Horsey. <laughs> That's funny. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Learn more about the Fox Terrier. Status adopted. <laughs> I didn't know Terriers could be chill. Current age, four years, seven months, best estimate. That's, this is a great website. Find us on Facebook. That's like an old find us on Facebook. <laughs> I know. And his siblings shrimp. are Parboni Shrimp Beef. <laughs> well, actually, this website was very essential in me deciding to go with them because I really had quarantine dog fever and, you know, I was applying to a million places and, you know, so many places are, you know, like, we're awesome Brooklyn rescue or, mm. you know, whatever. They're cool and they have these amazing websites and they'd always be like, sorry, your dog got scooped up. Sorry. Yeah. You know, they'd be too popular. And so then I found this website and I was like. There's no way this place is popular. <laughs> <laughs> is it in Jersey or New York? Or? It's in New Jersey. And so they they offered me Horsey 
And then they also offered me one of Horsey's siblings. And I was like, no, you guys already gave me a dog, remember? Which so. one? Parvoni? <laughs> <laughs> I would um, take Shrimpy. I think Shrimpy, Shrimpy. was the other one. Uh, Shrimpy looks like Happy, but slightly smaller. <laughs> what would you have named Shrimpy? I really like the name Shrimpy. I would keep it. I was thinking about keeping Horsey, actually, but I, was, I wasn't I was sure. I was like, it kind of sounds like a funny joke name, mm -hmm. but I don't know if I want to commit to it for like 10 years. Yeah. Yeah. Horsey, come here. Our cat's yeah. name was Annabelle. That's weird. <laughs> yeah, we didn't, we didn't love it. It wasn't like a great cat name. No. So we just changed it. And we and cats, I mean, there's no way. Maybe I'm wrong. I just don't, I don't know if cats really respond to their names. They might respond to like some kind of phonetic, like they mm -hmm. might have some kind of reaction really, but I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I, I think they really respond to the attitude more, but like, ugh. Annabelle is like a person name. Yeah, well, Mary, like a horror thing. If you, <laughs> <laughs> Mary, if you don't name a, a child Bernadette, could I name my pet Bernadette? Yes, you may. All right. What, yeah. what, what do you want to get? Greyhound. I, I want to clarify that it's not bad to have a person name for a cat. Uh, but it's Annabelle? just that it, Annabelle is like too much of a person name, you know? <laughs> I, yeah, do you, uh -oh. is, you say Greyhound? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know Terriers could be chill like that. Of course he's chill, he's my baby. <laughs> yeah. I don't know anything about dogs. <laughs> I, th I thought Greyhounds are like pretty wild. They're known like, to be chill. Like the Simpsons dog is a greyhound. Bring it yeah. back from earlier. <laughs> That's a real dog. <laughs> <laughs> what are... Can you teach a dog to shake with its hind leg? Maybe. Like hind shake. Eventually, I think you could. Hi. Like, you could get there. Just horse kick it. Does Happy like the attention? He doesn't not like it. <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe this is like a cool time in the show to, to uh, tastefully fade out. <laughs> yeah, how long is this show normally? <laughs> Well, it really varies. Oh. Usually uh, between one hour and 2.5 hours. Mm. Wow. So we're in a good range, I think. We're at yeah, the yeah. end of it. <laughs> we're at the end of it. That's how we should end. <laughs> Any show that we're on, well, we're at the end of it. <laughs> Is Happy happy that he has his own shirt? He sure is, and that shirt, once again, is available at planetscum.live slash merch. That's great. <laughs> great job. Beautiful. Can't wait to get one. That's you. That's you. <laughs> mm. Mm. Well, here's what I think. Manolo, Steve, yeah. will you join me in waving at the camera until Hex turns off our cameras. Yeah, I could do can, that. Can he fade out our cameras? Hmm. No. Can he hack into our machines and... Yes, yes. <laughs> you want, should I start now? Okay. Goodbye. Well, well, thanks See for having me. Week. Bye. Bye, guys.